Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to another Eternal Card Game. Thanks for coming by. So what do we have tonight? Uh, let's take a look. So it looks like I got served up with another Praxis uh, quest. Not so interested. I've gotten like, what, three of those in a row? I don't feel like doing Praxis today. But uh, I will look for something in the time cards uh, area. I have got this gauntlet one, but won't be doing gauntlet on video. That's kind of uh, not as exciting. So let's have a look at the deck I intend to play today. And this is one of my favorite decks. It has a cheeky mechanic. It's called Mad Snapper. All right, so it's a yellow blue deck. Um, what is that? Uh, 70 to 70% 70 yellow and 30% uh, blue. Has a mana curve which is uh, strictly from 1 to 4 and the emphasis is around 2 to 3. And there are 34 units and 18 others so it's almost like 55 to 60, 55% units to 45% uh, others. This deck for a while I've had it around the near to 75 mark it's not 75 yet i have haven't quite decided what those other two cards will be to get it down to 75 but let's have a look at what this deck does so this is a single unit focus card uh single unit focus deck uh snapping brush stalker and the rest kind of support that or try to win the game on their own if the snap air doesn't come out so it's kind of a weird card you pay four you get a five five when an enemy spell is played put this creature back into your hand. Now in most cases this would just be annoying, right? And that's of course, I don't know, your opponent wasn't playing any spells, but uh, of course there is one mechanic that makes this, uh, well there's one mechanic and one associated mechanic that work well together. So the main mechanic is uh, killer. So we have here Twilight Hunt. Drop the Snapping Brush Stalker. He gets uh, Plus two, plus two, killer, and the side benefit of having Nightfall. It's kind of a benefit, but the the opponent gets it too. And already you've got a 7-7 seven, seven creature, which has a killer. Uh, then, every time the opponent bounces it back, you play it again. It has killer every time. So if you use up your killer, this creature goes back to your hand. You play it again, and uh, you have killer again. Which is can be really frustrating if you're trying to get rid of this guy. It does especially well around the silver and bronze ranks because a lot of noobs don't know really what to do about this. They try different ways to deal with it or they just ignore it. You can only really deal with this with uh, creatures having their uh, units having their own uh, effect to get rid of the creature or such as, you know, like uh, summons, summon silence or uh, discard. So it really limits how the opponent can get rid of this card. The best way to do it is just to stop it from happening. And uh, as we get up into the gold ranks, yeah, that, that happens more often. So this was uh, this this deck was doing really well um, for a while since Argent Depths come out. It's needed some refinements, and I'm not sure uh, what I could put in here to keep this deck viable as we go on. So the other things that um, support this snapper is the uh, journey guide which of course means I can just keep if I keep drawing the card I can keep playing it for cheaper and cheaper and of course dropping killer is uh, dropping killer for cheaper is great this is just a general buff unit buff um, card draw which I could later on change for the one that does uh, ambush deadly but this one works pretty well too as a chump blocker uh, this guy is a dinosaur friend which flies and he's a 2-4 market card silencer this sometimes helps the snapper get its uh, killer but usually it just becomes a target so it's good bait when people see this they kind of panic um, and it has pretty good stats 3-3 we got the Unraveling Fanatic for extra card draw and also as another kind of distraction. We want to kind of distract away from this guy, so we just, you know, we got this if necessary. Nest Nesting Avasar, 
which uh, helps me reduce the cost of this. Um, and also get all the inspires to uh, activate again if Snapping Brush Stalker is returned to my hand and the game is still in my favor. Sabertooth Pride Leader, uh, emergency uh, blocker there. Now, with the killer function, say Snapper with a so a seven seven with killer, we use the porcelain mask. It will always have overwhelm. That and I've already silenced a unit with it. So every time you hit something, say with one toughness, and I hit him with seven, the the, the uh, enemy player himself is going to be taking six. So this is actually this can be a really quick way to wear down the opponent as well. As spells, I got Call the Ancients. Um, I only got one of these, I think. Yeah, I only got one of these, so there's only one of them in the deck. But uh, it's quite a powerful card if you know you're up against a lot of th lot of spells or something. But it doesn't work perfectly with the synergy, so that's one to consider. Extra killers, second sight. So that's good with things which uh, multiplies. Uh, so I can put this back and get the inspires again. I can also get, I can also duplicate accelerated evolution. Um, flash freeze, that's good. At, flash freeze and mute are good at holding the game um, a bit longer before I can get this combo out. What do we have in the market? Get something from my void. More uh, battle skills and stuff like that. Flying endurance, mirror image in case you know. The Stabbing Brush Stalker staying on the board, I can copy it. Turn to Seed for obvious reasons and Passage of Eons. Alright, so there you go. Snapping the Mad Snapper deck. Let's give it a shot. I've been uh, trying out here Expedition Huracano deck. So far, it's not doing great. But, uh, you know. I deleted all my other uh, Expedition decks because they just were. <laughs> They're all like so outdated, like half the deck couldn't be used anymore, so I just delete the whole thing and uh I've been trying one. I think, you know, from now on I will just try one expedition car uh deck at a time and just try to make it the best I can. So every time they change it up, boom, I'll just delete it and make a new expedition deck just to keep my deck building skills up. And to keep uh focus on one deck, because the more you focus on the one deck, whether it's in throne, expedition or whatever. You'll find your way better at playing it. You know what's coming up ahead, you know what your limitations are. Kill Kenny. Well, we got two of our friends in the deck, uh, and we got the scout, so let. And a, and a killer. Okay, so this is. It looks like a good opportunity. Let's get this going. Yeah, okay. This is kind of a turn 5 play because you don't want to playing this without the killer is kind of useless and it also gives the enemy an extra turn to just don't look down consider how they're going to react to your threat on the board. Of course if I don't have uh, 5 power then I'm kind of like have to decide like do I play out 4? Oh we got two killers and this one has scouts so this is kind of a null right now but let's just we're okay right now because he hasn't played anything. I will unite them. Okay. Our vengeance is swift. What is this one? Oh, right, he's cursed my unit. That's not a big deal. All right. Um I think I would like to it's like this or this, because this is... I really want my land... I really want my power out next turn. But at the same time, I don't want this to keep pigging my creature. <laughs> yeah, hold on there, buddy. Hold on. I'm thinking too long. You can probably figure out I got a reaction. Traverse Farm. Be playing something that I need to get rid of. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, you're gonna like. Yeah. Well, might as well play it anyway. Okay, so. We're gonna scout for land. Perfect. Let's see what he got. Oh. There's a lot. Oh, he's got two of those. Okay. Silence a non stranger unit. Let's get rid of that. We don't want him to start shutting up my brush stalker, do we? One from many. Alright, well, we're looking good. That's. Let's attack this first. That's fine by me. Here's what we're really here for. He won't be able to block this. Now any spell he plays will return this to my hand. And I got rid of the creature that could silence me. Of course he could be drawing into more of them. Crickets are at it. Let's play with the barrel. <laughs> Why, thank you. You've just returned the killer to my hand. Uh, what I usually do is I will keep one, one set in hiding here. We trust in ourselves. Alright. If he... Oh, he we does. will not be broken. He does drop another unit, all right. So get rid of endurance or get rid of buffs and relic kills. I think I'm gonna get rid of the relic kill. May fortune smile on this boy. I think you'll block it, but you know. Here we are anyway. Now I can use this to kill him if I need to. I'm not really scared of his triumphant stranger because I can activate another killer combo if I need to. If he's silly enough to play a spell, then I'll just keep hammering his units. Even on its own a seven seven is a formidable uh we struggle opponent. and grow. That's more of a problem. Alright, so... 4, 1, 2. Can I play all of this? Nope, not quite. Any way to keep this alive? By making it a killer, yes. We can duplicate this. Brush kills make the best pelts. Oh, and I have enough to play it too. That's nice. And let's get rid of this. That leaves us as Grodov. I think we're okay to take on this. Oh, hit us. Go for the throat this time. Kind of a dangerous position I'm putting myself in. Alright. Well, we got the night damage on him. One from many. This guy might is kind of looking useless right now. He's still 5-5, five five, eh? We take what paths we must. Our progress can't be stopped. Ooh, not enough for the Silex. That's a bummer. Okay, oh. No, not enough for the this one. Oh, okay, so let's get rid of one of the killers. That's a good start. He has to block that. Yeah, it's looking bad for him. We call 
called the hunt. What do you got there? A berserker? Oh, thank you. We are many. So, this also has a good combo too. Like, I can drop this in and uh, buff it as well. We have cause. Uh, don't care about that. Oh wait, that get that gets his life gain, doesn't it? All right. So how can I do this? I drop the killer in. No. Oh. Drop you in. And what does this one do? Pay three and draw a dragon of your choice. They get berserk. Strangers have life steal. Let's get rid of that. And let's just attack in the air. This is what strangers cost one less. Yeah, that's. You should be okay to play any stranger even without that in the way, so let's not worry too much about that. Alright, good, it's kind of a funky one. We have cause. He can go for the lifesteal, can't he? I might be able to kill either him or the creature if I get a power next turn. Uh, okay, good move. He gets the extra, extra life gain. Yeah, it's not worth it for two. Oh wow, good player this one. Okay, so yeah, can't block this. Let's just oh. let's play this. And I'll you leave that as a blocker, I guess. Point five. Yep. We pass judgment. What do you do? Ah, nothing. That's good. Yeah, he he has no choice but to attack with that. Take that out. Come on, give me something good here. Yes, thank you. Just don't look down. We'll take this out. A damage spell. Nothing to nothing to scoff at. Alright, so I have to attack with this, so I will leave the uh, brush stalker behind. A bit his life steal guy there, yeah. Should probably no, that's not gonna help. <laughs> wow, that's good. Yeah, he was a good player. He made me like contort my play style in ways that uh, I'm not used to, and that's what this deck needs. Of course, it's been five seconds since the game ended, so I forgot the lessons that I've learned, and we're going to go on to the next one. That's the problem with winning. It kind of gives you a little bit of a euphoric jolt to your brain, and you forget that the deck needs work. The mana could have been fixed a little better, but uh, I'm still good with how it is. Okay, one win. Let's take a quick look at this. And this sometimes poses the problem of costing two time. You gain a heart, which is great if you're low in health. You gain a chump blocker, which may kill something, but usually doesn't. But you do draw a card. This one has a similar effects but it's more costly and is deadly so I think 
we're gonna put in those. Alright, there we go. We rested on 75 cards. We've changed the scribes to the ambush killers. I can't remember their name right now. Uh, got a silence, got a this and a this. Uh, no blue, so that's not good. Okay, I'm okay with that. Start off with the Alician Insignia. Just don't look down. Journey Guide, good blocker. Reduce the uh, cost of units by one. One of these is really good in your hand. Two of them, eh. End up like wasting time if they uh, ramp up. Okay. <laughs> Not getting great draws right now. Okie dokie. Together we'll find the path. Put out some uh, units for him to target, I guess. No, we're good. He's maybe he's suffering a similar problem. Having to draw cards. What is that? Green, blue, purple. That's uh, is that Corundon? Can't remember. We can check it out while we're waiting here. Okay. Ah, now we're in business. Oh, but the business lacks a target. <laughs> I think we'll just uh, hang tough into the. Well, that's not nice. I'd like the overwhelm uh, artifact out too. Oh, this is yeah, this is purpose. All right, gotcha. Strumming my fingers on my table. Is he like trying out his deck for the first time? You okay. have been sentenced. Yeah, should be able to deal with that, right? Has he got a reaction there? Um, the kill kill unit spell or what? Play a spell. No, okay, that was a good one. Now, if I only have one unit out, the good thing about this killer spell is it will just, I can just add it on. I shall not sacrifice my brush stalker. Thank you very much. Okay, good. This is what I like to see the Aversor in action. And we can draw it back out again. And now it costs two. We now have a brush stalker on discount. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't make me discard, otherwise I won't be happy anymore. Come on, give me the mask. The touch of shadow. Well that was kinda rude. Er, nothing to attack, so let's just put this on. Rejoice! The shadow embraces us. This is such an easy thing to kill, especially in a, you know, a black, blue, or a red deck. That would, uh, this is like target candy right here, right here. Please kill me. Oh. Ah, I see. I could stun him, I guess. That's good. Let's scout about. Yes, I'll be needing that. And we'll leave it at that. We can stun him if we really need to attack and we don't want this uh, kill effect to go off. There's none of the silences have come out yet. Oh, what you got? Oh, 
over there. Oh, that was the end of my turn. Jeez, this guy's a little slow. Well, that's annoying. That makes it harder to deal with this. Yeah, how about it? Okay, what we're gonna do? We could duplicate. Turn to seed. Silence all or just make it stronger. Wow, that's a lot of options. But Fresh kills make the best pelts. Let's start with this. We'll go with that. It's a bit out of my price range right now. Well, I could still play one and kill. Alright, here we go. Take your card and get out of here. This is another fun match. Hmm. Well, that worked out for me. Okay, so let's see if we've got any magic in here. Nope. Alright. If he was to mill the top, I would rather he mill that. Let's play this without this yet. And get some extra life. I serve the throne. When you play another card on the enemy's turn, Roland gets a blah blah. I got no reason not to block, do I? He hasn't figured out this card yet. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Let's drop her in. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Down in the silver ranks. People in the gold ranks usually don't get fooled by this guy. Alright, two for two. My preferred deck is doing okay so far. Let's go for a three. Since I've already got it at 75, the choices to change our cards will be a little harder, but uh, more poignant. It's good if I don't want to play any cards. That is better, because i got Silence and Scout. Yeah, okay. Oh, and this. Our Great Valley Smuggler. Still much better than having the etchings in here if you have dual color... Uh, Spells. I guess I could get rid of these and change them to blue. But that wouldn't work that great, would it? Um, turn two, but then no turn three. Okay. This is a turn three problem. Alright, we'll play this out first. This is good to see. Especially in a black or a purple uh, influence deck. This one's good to play as soon as possible. Uh, stranger deck, I guess. A technical kind of stranger deck rather than a all purpose ass whooping. But uh, only having those two units in his hand, uh, hard to see where it's gonna go. What's his name? Krine. Five colors already out, good. Just don't look down. All right, let's draw the cheapener. Later, we can go either rectifier, scout if we have to, but not much use there, or the Great Valley Smuggler. Our fury is unleashed. He's got a defensive card out as well. Okay. Okay, good. I've got an extra one of these to play. Then I won't be able to block with that. 
no point. The problem is if you play this, what happens is you reduce the card, but you also delay getting the Brush Stalker out. So it's only... You can't always use this. It's not always a good idea. So let's just go with this. And what? <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. Kills make the best pelts. I can play up to four. My game is going pretty slow here, and I don't have much for this or this. So let's get this nasty card ready to roll. I don't feel much threat from this, although I may see it, but we may need it for something else, you know? We can rebuild. Ooh, a warp deck. Those can be nasty, can't they? This plus this equals good. But I would like the killer to come out together. Uh, let's play the indecisive one. We'll play this out. Quite often I find uh, stranger decks don't have a lot of relics. In general, there we go. Put my foot in my mouth. I was just about we to say, Stranger Decks don't shadow. usually have um, relics. And there's one right there in my face. Okay, good. I was just about to play it because there were no relics out. But the earlier we get rid of that, the better. Oh, yes. What are you? You're the nothing? Yeah. I'm feeling you. Okay, card draw is alright. I'm alright with that. Let's get rid of the warp. Uh, let's attack with this. Is that a. Yeah, I was gonna say. Might as well get rid of you, eh? <laughs> Since he's running relics in here, he might also have more spells than average on a, on a stranger deck, so I'm hopefully going to get some killer we back. Ride. Strangers have charge. Problem with no spells is, now we have a 5-5 five five that can be killed, so we have to be a bit more cautious how we're going to let this guy play out. Alright, that's promising. Put a card on top of my deck. So I'm going to play this. What could I afford to lose? Maybe this? Alright, get that ready for next turn. Use you as the bait. Do you want to block anything with your... Looks like somebody from the uh, new newer Mad Max uh, movie, didn't he? It's kind of a cool looking dude. Yes, please block me with your charge. Oh, I'm playing a rank one silver, so... Strangers kind of need to rely on the text on their cards. Without that, they're just a bunch of... ...average units. We stand united. Well, he... yeah, okay. Maybe he knows what's going on. Alright, so... Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, okay. See, he kill me, but I can just buff him, so let's just do that. Let's make him a 7-7 seven, seven and a 4-6. Alright, let's go for the heavy damage. Even if they attack this, at least I get it back in my hand. Okie dokie. <laughs> Ooh, that's we a nasty pig card. Wow, it's looking good for me. Oh, it's looking even better now. May I have killed? I don't know. 
I will kill you. Unless he's got something magical in his hand, I think this is in the bag. Our wealth grows. A seven and put permafrost. See that's a that's a threat right there. For him to be able to play him on one turn would be ten. So I feel pretty good about dropping this. And I'm gonna. F Can I finish him off? No, not quite. All right. Oh yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that I caught it one of my favorite decks and it didn't bottom out on the first or second game. We got three games now, that's good. And I'm excited to play this fourth game. How are we doing here for time? 38 minutes. Uh, that's a little... Well, it's got all the it's got all the power and all the influence, so we're gonna go with that. I can get up to this Silex, and I'll be buffing the units as they come in, unless he wipes them out. Good, that's a good half of the combo. Watch your back, deadly. That's a reason for silence right there. Together we'll find the path. Mill decks are kind of frustrating because you might be seeing your winning combo go into the trash. All right. Um I don't have a unit in here. Eh? Okay. I can see it. I could draw. Yeah, okay. I have to be careful about what's on top of my deck now because of this guy. Good to draw ahead and if he's gonna mill me, at least I put something that is less desirable on top. Which right now will be that. We're doing a lot of staring at each other right now. Oh, that was stupid. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I just planted that on top so he could throw it in there, but yeah. Nothing wrong with a sealed writ. Okay. Free. Uh -huh. Let's put some bait out. Rejoice! The shadow embraces us. And leave it there. The shadow has always been. Hmm. Yes, please. Yes, I do want silence two enemies. This is okay. Every time he surges, let's get rid of it now before he has a chance to search. He's got a tough unit out there, so this would become a six. I don't want to. I got killer. Let's use up the duplicate. Get ready in for some. Get ready for some paratroopers here. <laughs> Sabertooth Pride Leader for six eight. As long as he has a friend to block with him, then I could take out that five seven. So the nightmare rages. It's not a dinosaur, that's the only downside. Oh, this is a dinosaur. And this is an even better dinosaur. Okay, so Oh, I can only get him to 6-6. Six, six. Uh, yeah. Take out that thing. Oh wait. 
I got this combo. Let's go with that. He's got a really good hand, uh, really good hand. So I have to. I mean, he's got five cards up there, so I have to be careful. Yeah, there you go. Damn it! I always need to keep one killer in my hand, or otherwise I'm in trouble. He has to kill this. The nightmare rages. Gonna do a board wipe. Well, except for this, maybe. Yep, there you go. Okay, we're still... Still in the game. Okay, he has no units. I can drop this in for extra life, or kill a relic, and block this. What is this? This is a 4-6. This one can also take the damage. Let's keep this in. Keep the heavier hitter behind. rages. Got something for me there, buddy? I think you do. Got that many cards in your hand. You made it personal. Ah, good. We got the killer back. Is there any other way to get card draw right now? There's no. Just getting the. I could get this guy back, but then he's gonna target it again. We should just put out some heavier hitters. 4 plus 3, 4 plus 2, 3 plus 4, no, 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 no. I could play two of these. Damn. This is tough. Alright, well, let's put this in here. Or not, if you're going to get negated, am I... Did I get some lag here, or what? Well then, I'll just drop in another Sabertooth, hopefully. Woo! Tough game. I like it. That has to die. When an enemy hits you, kill it. When... Okay, now that... The nightmare rages. Oh. How can I deal with that? I am having trouble. Could do a combo one, two, three, four, five, six, kill. Alright. It's not deadly, right? Let's do this. Keep that. Which of these guys should I drop in? I think I'll just drop in the heaviest one. Rush kills make the best pelts. Get ready, you. Get ready with this, the defensive one. He's got no way to block, so. Well, we've averted a scary disaster. Oh, he's going in for the card draw. That's a good sign. Whew. He still hit me for five, though. That's becoming a real pain in the ass. You made it personal. He's just got the all the nightmare rages. Got all the kill cards. Yeah, okay. I'll hold the seat for you then. Or even better. We'll make, should we make it a beat? No, we're going to keep the seed for that. Fresh kills make the best pelts. Let's try, try this out. And... Whew. Get ready with this. Together, we'll find the path. Oh, that wasn't enough to... Deflect his attack, though. That's kind of a bummer, isn't it? Okay, so what can I get from my Void? I've got a 5-5 five, five killer, 6-8 killer. This thing. Oh, the steel card. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna get rid of you. 
Can't afford to take any damage right now. Guess we'll get rid of Dizo with this. Maybe you're sitting on the other side there, you can see a much better combo, but... Whew. The nightmare rages. Drop you in for the for the block, yeah. We strike the nightmare darkness. rages. Can't really afford to take damage, but I don't know what kind of fast spells he's got. He could have a nightmare. nightmare. There we go. Saved off to five seven at last. He must be. Oh. Why wouldn't he do that just now? Save his unit. Well, that's no fun. Can't even stop that. Ah. Well, right on. I can stun. All right, I can survive. I guess. Nope. Survive. Stun two, seed one, take two damage. Oh. I didn't know it was the guys on the board too. Hmm. Now he can play his arrow. Mode. The oh. shadow has always been. It's it's your your heart. Uh, thank you. Nope. Oh man. <laughs> I need a miracle now. There you go. Woo. Couldn't deal with those. Ah, all those kill cards, and that's uh, that's quite common. Let me see here. We got we got four games. We won three in a row. I think we can leave it at that. Anything I can do to make this uh, a little less friendly? Okay. All right. So I uh, took out the the one that gives you the four titans with uh, Aegis, and I put in one extra freeze just to help things uh, along a bit with an extra stun. Not sure how to really like get that, you know, to up this deck to the next level, but it's doing. It's, do, it's still doing very well. It did three in a row, and I'm happy with that. Um, if you have any ideas on uh, minor adjustments to this deck, that would be uh, that, that would be great. Um, I am happy with the core, which is the snapper and the killer, and also the mask with overwhelm. So, anything that's kind of surrounds that to make it a uh, you know better performing deck, please let me know. If you uh, you know if you like what you saw today, please give a like, um, subscribe uh, if you want to see more, and uh, leave us you know leave comments. I uh, I really like to see your comments and see your ideas as well. Hope you're having fun with Eternal out there. It's a it's a lot of fun and uh, yeah, something different in the gaming world as well. Well, it's a lot like Magic and uh, you know. 
it's quite a bit like um, Hearthstone on the surface as far as it looks, but for me, this is a good compromise between those two games, and this one is still sufficiently uh, unique enough to be interesting. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for coming by and thanks for watching. Have a good evening, good afternoon, good morning, uh, whatever it is for you, and see you later. Goodbye.